Hello everyone. Welcome back to Edureka YouTube channel. Today we will be exploring the most popular data visualization tools which are Tableau and Power BI. Before that, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also, visit the Edureka website for training and certification courses, the link to which is in the description box below. Tableau and Power BI are data visualization and business intelligence tools. With both tools, you can extract data, visualize it, analyze it, and turn them into a useful information. Business intelligence tools assist organization in making the most of these data. Power BI and Tableau are the two most popular tools used in the market platform. Now, let's take a quick look at the agenda of today's video. Firstly, we will briefly define the two tools, what is Tableau and what is Power BI. Then, we will move on to the discussion where we will discuss all the differences between Tableau and Power BI in detail. We will cover the data cleaning in Tableau and Power BI. Then, we will see the parameters to differentiate between Tableau versus Power BI. Then, we will look on to the use cases of Tableau versus Power BI. Then, we will discuss which to choose. And finally, we will finish our video with a small quiz. We will see what is Tableau. Tableau is the popular choice among data professionals due to its simple interface and powerful visualization capabilities. It is a leading data visualization and business intelligence tools for data-driven organizations. Tableau can connect through and retrieve data from a wide range of sources, including Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Access, and Google Analytics. It can even work with text, statisticals, and files. It can be without any technical knowledge or skills to create a dashboard or BI reports. Moving on to what is Power BI? Power BI is a data visualization and business intelligence software that is interactive and scalable. It offers a technology-driven suite of apps, software, connectors, and services. Power BI is developed by Microsoft. It is used in businesses to create and publish business intelligence reports. Power BI is integrated with a wide range of data sources, including files, spreadsheet, databases, Microsoft, and web services. End user can create dashboard and reports. Moving on to the discussion where we will discuss all the differences in detail for Tableau versus Power BI. Starting off with data visualization. Tableau is well known for its ability to visualize data. Users can create interactive and customized dashboards that are device agnostic. In Power BI, on the other hand, I have a large number of data points to offer data visualization. Its simple drag and drop functionality is a deal for both technical and non-technical users. Next is the products. Tableau and Power BI both have released new data analytics and business intelligence products. Here are the various types of products which are used in Tableau and Power BI. First is the Tableau Serve. Next, Tableau Public. Tableau Online Cloud. Tableau Reader. And finally, Tableau Mobile. Power BI is a part of Microsoft Business Intelligence. It offers a wide range of products, which are Power BI Desktop, Power BI Services, Power BI Pro, Power BI Premium, and finally, Power BI Mobile. Next is the Security. Tableau comes with the following predefined user roles, viewer, interactor, and editor. The publisher can configure access permission for these roles. Tableau offers data security, network security, and RLS option for administrator. It recommends SSL and HTTP configuration for network communication between the client and the Tableau service. On the other hand, we have Power BI. Power BI stores and manages data storage security using Azure Blob Storage, Azure SQL databases, and role-level security is also provided for role-based data access. And the final one is the dashboard. Tableau features are comparable to those of Power BI. In comparison of Power BI, however, many of the features are hidden behind the menus. Tableau is well known for its attractive dashboards that are simple to build with drag and drop. On the other hand, Power BI includes modern features that assist in converting raw data into interactive and visually appealing dashboards. It allows users to visualize data insights, even if they have no prior knowledge or experiences. Creating dashboards with Power BI tiles or visible matrices 
which directly interacts with the reports and data sets. Moving on to data cleaning in Tableau and Power BI. Data cleaning in Tableau entails preparing and shaping raw data so that it can be efficiently analyzed and visualized. Here are some of the common Tableau data cleaning steps. Connecting to data. Connect to your data sources in Tableau using one of the available connectors, which are SQL, Excel, CSV, etc. Handling missing values. Identify and manage missing values. You can filter out or replace missing values within Tableau using data sheets. Removing duplicates. Check for or remove duplicate row if necessary. You can do this in Tableau by using the remove duplicate function. Finally, data type conversion. Ensure that the data type conversion are appropriate for each file. Tableau automatically assures or assigns data types, but you can change them manually if necessary. Data cleaning in Power BI. Power BI is a process of preparing and transforming raw data into a clear and structured format for analysis and visualization. Here are some of the common data cleaning steps used in Power BI. Data loading. Load your raw data into Power BI using the data source connector, which are XQL, MySQL, Excel, CSV, and etc. Handling missing values. Identify and address missing values. You can use Power Query Editor to filter out or replace missing values. Next is the data type conversion. Ensure that data types are appropriate for each columns. You can change data type by using the Power Query Editor. Finally, handling errors. Identify and handle errors in your data. Power BI provides option to replace errors with default values or remove error rows. Now, we will take a look at the parameters of Tableau versus Power BI. Performance. It improves performance while dealing with large amount of data. Source of data. Having access to a large number of services and database sources. Ease of use. Tableau is known for its simple drag and drop interface that allows users to create visualization quickly. Visualization capability. Tableau is well known for its powerful and versatile visualization capability. Tableau is famous for its ability to provide complex and detailed visualization. Finally, data preparation. Tableau has data preparation feature, but it is less advanced than the Power BI's Power Query. A separate tool, Tableau Prep, is available for advanced data preparation. Next is the parameters of Power BI. Performance. It can handle only limited amount of data. Source of data. It can handle only limited sources to access databases. Ease of use. Power BI is well known for its user-friendly interface, particularly for those who are more familiar with Microsoft products. Visualization capability. Power BI provides a wide range of visualization options, as well as the ability for the user to create custom visuals. It focuses heavily on interactive and dynamic dashboards. Finally, data preparation. Power Query provides robust self-service data preparation capability, allowing users to clear and transfer data into the Power BI interface. Now, we will move on to the use cases of Tableau versus Power BI. Here are some of the common Tableau use cases from various industries. Business dashboards. Create interactive and dynamic dashboards that display key outcomes. Track performance against target by monitoring real-time data. Data exploration and analysis. Quickly explore and analyze large sets of data to discover trends and patterns and how analysis is used to answer specific business questions. Financial analysis. Create visual representation of financial data, such as revenue, expenses, and profitability by using interactive dashboards and performing financial modeling. Finally, operational analytics. Visualize key functional matrices to monitor and maximize operational process, identify errors, and process improvement opportunities. Next is the use cases of Power BI. Data exploration and analysis. Discover insights and trends by exploring and analyzing large data sets. Perform independent analysis with Power BI user-friendly interface for quick decision-making. 
Inventory and Supply Chain Management Visualize and analyze supply chain data to improve inventory management. Monitor supplier performance and maximizing the supply chain to reduce cost. Project administration. Monitor project status, resources allocation, and team performance. Create a visual representation of the project timelines and achievements. Finally, data monitoring in real time. To monitor and visualize real time data, use Power BI streaming capability. It deals with the requirements which are immediately made as insights, such as manufacturing or IoT applications. Now, we will discuss about which should you choose. Both Power BI and Tableau performs well in business intelligence and data visualization, making it difficult to say which is superior. The only conclusion that is relatively easy to draw is that Tableau is more robust than Power BI. Whereas Power BI is easy to get started with and it is more affordable. Learning both can be a best option. And the salary for Tableau and Power BI may differ in India and in United States. In India, the salary for Power BI is 5 lakhs to 9 lakhs per annum. Whereas in United States, it ranges from $117,000. And Power BI salary in India is 5 lakhs to 8 lakhs per annum. And in United States, it is $110,000. If you still need to choose which tool is best for you, then try both of them and find out which is perfect for you. As we reach the end of our video, we will have a final short twist based on the video. Our first question is, which programming language is used to create custom visuals in Power BI? The options are Python, c -sharp, Java, and R. And the answer for this is, R. Our next question is, which of the following is a way to connect to a data source in Power BI? And the options are using a web browser, using a command line interface, using an API, and all of the above. And the answer for this is using a web browser. Our next question is, Tableau is a predefined user role of data cleaning, interactor, web browser, Security. And the answer for this is Interactor. As we approach the final question, I would like you to answer this question and please leave your response in the comment section. And the question is Tableau is well known for its ability to produce complex dashboards, Microsoft products, data sourcing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. And keep learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!